Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And uh, today we have our, and I want to say, I believe it is, our very first actual Japanese whiskey. By the new rule. By the new rules. By the new rules. Right. Uh, Nika has been really upfront. So like we've done the Nika days and they say it does not qualify. And that we did the, wow, what was the other Nika we did? We did another Nika. Nika from the barrel does not qualify. They own uh, Ben Nevis, a scotch. Okay. Um, so a lot of times they blend the scotch into that. This qualifies. It meets all the new requirements. It actually, the only whiskey going into it is whiskey from their two Japanese distilleries. Okay. So there's nothing else going into this. So anyway, uh, yeah, we way divergent. But uh, <laughs> so this is the Nika Takatasuru, pure malt whiskey. This is a re-release or a renewed release. Okay. There was an original release um, that had like a dark black label to it. Uh, they changed the recipe. They re-released this at the end of 2020. So this actually ended up being number 15, 15. for the best whiskeys, according to Whiskey Advocate, for 2021. I assume fall of 2020 and Japan maybe didn't make it over to America in time. I don't know. Not sure how that Good works. Possibility. So... That is what this is. The Takatasuru is a nod. The, it's a nod to the founder. To the founder. founder I think we went distillery. through some of the history with him. He went over, he got, it was like he 1920 cut his, he, he cut or something teeth, like that. his teeth in the scotch. Yeah, the he scotch went industry. over and did like three years of internships, studied at the University of Glasgow and yep. all that kind of stuff. And then... Uh, Learned what he needed to. And yeah. Came back to Japan. The company that actually sent him over there decided they didn't want to do whiskey anymore. <laughs> so then he started working for, I think, what became um, Centauri. Centauri. Uh, he finished his contract there, and he started his own company. Screw cat. That's different. Um, so that's, that's kind of the history there. That's, this is a nod back to, to him and, and you know the kind of whiskey that I guess he started making. Uh, so, I'm interested. No age statement. Uh, it is 86 proof, so at least it's a little bit heavier. Yeah. Um, that, uh, before we start the nosing mm. part. <laughs> it's just so excited. I know, I know. A real <laughs> Japanese whiskey. Anyway, so April. April uh, has uh, kind of an important meaning for this, mm -hmm. for this YouTube channel. So, uh, two things. My son's birthday would have been, uh, is in April. Um, he would have been 14 this year. And World Wish Day is April 29th. So uh, my son's Make-A-Wish was actually to be a YouTube star. And he ended up uh, going to California to meet one of his favorite YouTubers. We started this as kind of a nod to that. Yep. He never actually got to do an episode of, on YouTube or become a YouTube star. So uh, we decided we were going to put stuff on YouTube Star in, is, ho uh, in hopes to becoming yeah, a star. it's questionable on the star part, <laughs> but uh, definitely wanted to be on YouTube. And and so, in April we do a fundraiser uh, to support Make a Wish. So we do a, we have a fundraiser going right now for uh, Make a Wish Middle Tennessee chapter because they're the ones who um, gave my son his wish. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that is donated before or up to the World Make-A-Wish Day of April 29th, up to $500, we will match. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have the means, please make a donation. It's a great charity, amazing what they do for kids, and, and just, it, it's very life-changing in a time of a lot of struggles. Yeah. So Great cause, and again, like you said before, doesn't have to be a large donation. Every, every, every little bit counts. Because it's getting doubled. Yep. So. so we appreciate any support that you could uh, contribute to our to this cause. Yeah. So. Okay. Now yeah. you can smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. What's it smell like? Does have a good nose. Huh. It's a little Highland Scotchy, and that's kind of what I would first think I of. I get like some apple. There's some citrus. Yeah. There's some fruits. Definitely fruits. There's a little citrus in there. Apple. I get a very faint honey, but the I feel like that's a typical. Yeah, that's Scotch probably. Scotch and yeah. the Asian whiskeys. But yeah, I get apple. Apple and maybe a little pear? 
There's another fruit in there. Yeah, almost and like some a, citrus. A granny Smith though. Okay. A little green green apple. Or tart. Yeah, there's a little pinch. <laughs> I, I don't know how like it feels like you're getting your nose pinched just a touch as you're you're breathing it in, which could be the age, because I don't know how old it is. Anyway, let's yeah. give it a shot. Ooh. That's interesting. A little bit of smoke. There's a touch of smoke in there, which that was one of the big changes. Yeah, a little bit of the alcohol, like the, not a burn, but it, you feel it. You yeah, feel it. The, the stringency yeah. of or, of a little tingle, a little tingle. So that was the change, um, from what I understand. The old one. So they have two. They have two distilleries. Um, one does a little bit more of the smoky malts, okay. and one does a little bit more of the like the sweeter Highland malt. Okay. And and they shifted a little bit more towards the sweeter uh, the smoky malt in the new release. Okay. Um, and apparently the original one had way more of a sherry impact. They don't really right. say that it's finished in sherry, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't get any. It might be some of the fruit notes, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a... The smoky hangs around, though. That smoke, yeah, it really hangs out. But it's like a sweet smoke, if that makes any sense. Hmm. That nice. I still, I'm getting the apple. I got an but, apple aftertaste. But it's sweet. Like, yeah. it's that's what the smoke's there, but there's like a sweet fruit note in there, too. That's like, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Now, it is not filtered, but there's they do add a little bit of color to it, which... Trying to re compare that to like Nika Days, I remember the Nika Days being almost see through, yeah. like just like almost water. So I guess I get that a little bit, but oh, I'm glad it's at 86. Yeah, if, if it was any less, it'd be really watery water. and not be able to pick up any of those delicate notes. What's nice about it is you can nose top to bottom, left, right, and it's pretty consistent. It does get a little sweeter as you nose down. It doesn't get sharp. It gets sweet. It's not a fancy bottle, though. I mean, it does have a slight that smoky tint to it, but it's not a... Yeah, it's, it's not, not clear fancy. glass. Yeah. No, there's no intricate designs or <laughs> no. anything like that. All right. I took two big gulps. I'll have to save the rest for the water. Forgot to say. Thumbs up for the bottle open. That's right. Yeah. The smoke disappears on the second sip a little bit. Like, it, it mutes down a little the sweet notes, the fruity, yeah. honey, yeah. Ap yes. sweet apples. Yep. That's pretty good. I like all those fruity notes. I don't think too many people would like this, but I think the smoke would come through a little too strong for some people. If you don't mind experimenting in a little bit of like a sweet smoke, this is nice. This is delicious. If you have issues with any kind of smoke, then <laughs> yeah, it's probably not your bag. Ooh, I got fruitier. Yeah, it did. Super fruity. Sweet. Like like the... I don't, I'm trying to think of it. Like, almost like honeyed apples. Or, or so, like like an apple bake of some sort. Yeah. Like it's really sweet. That initial whip was like I just nosed a bag of fruit snacks. Yeah. Yeah, dried fruit, fairly sugary. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's definitely, it's not just apple. There's some citrus notes. There's, there's other fruit notes in there, but it's really a, a sweeter side of a fruit note. It was a little heavier. That second, I was expecting to be a little, I know we added water, but a little more watery, but no, I felt like it was Like oilier, right? Thicker. The oil kind of came up. and it, Yeah, it got a little more of this. A little more punch to it. It's nice. Yeah. That actually got a little odd. I still don't understand the science, but I it actually got a touch better. I need a touch. With a touch of water. Like, it added more body to it. Yep. Didn't change the taste profile. All no, I felt like the, the fruity, the smoke, it, like, it yeah, was still there. It's all there. Maybe amp just a, just a touch. My understanding and looking, looking through some of this is... Once it opens up, it will get to a more of a, almost like a chocolatey note. Hmm. I'm not getting that right now. Nowhere no, near even, that at any it's point. Not even that part of the flavor wheel. No, not at all. But yeah, with water, it's like, it gets more creamy. The oil's a little thicker. Like everything's about it. It got thicker with water. And that makes no sense at all. Again, yeah, we're not chemists. No, not <laughs> at all. We do not understand. I don't even like chemistry, so. Well, I know it's, <laughs> it's about like, Everything kind of condenses and consolidates. So when you put the water in it, like the, 
the non-water soluble oils will kind of kick up, but then when we stir it, it breaks yeah. it all up. And I know, I know about that You know that enough much. to be dangerous. I know just about that much. <laughs> Not enough to totally understand how something could you add water to it and it tastes thicker. I, I don't get that one. It makes no sense at all. Cover the proof. Yeah. Low price. Ah, the price. It is well, seventy-five steep. to eighty bucks. It's, steep. it's a heavier price for a whiskey, especially a non-age stated whiskey. I have no idea how old this is. I want to. I want to say they took a lot of the rules from Scotland, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess their minimum is three. Three or four. Um, I know both Scotland and Ireland, uh, three is the minimum. So, mm -hmm. guessing they probably have the same thing. Um, yeah, 75 is a little heavy, but it's a really solid whiskey. Um, and it's just great to actually get a whiskey. So, have you had this before or did you just buy it? Cause... I bought it because it was on the list. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've had other, I mean, we've had other yeah, Nikas, yeah, yeah. but, but it was, it was on the list and I was just, and I saw it at the store and I was like, yeah, okay, sure. Gotta give it a shot. It's good. Yeah, I, I'm going to enjoy good. it. I don't know if I would buy another bottle of it. You know what I mean? Like it's not so good that I want to spend $75 to have a backup to it. But you probably would if you were having a party and you wanted to hire an Asian whiskey. Yeah. Japanese yeah. whiskey. No, it, Yeah. It definitely crosses that. It, it crosses a lot of the check mm -hmm. marks for what a good Wanting to splurge. Asian this whiskey is, would be. This is a good one to yeah to to pick up. I'd love to know a little bit more, like the age and the you know. So it's it's a pure malt. So it says it on there, pure malt, which which is a blend. In, yeah, and and apparently their description a pure malt means it's a blend of malt. Yeah, single malt is just one malt from one distillery. A pure malt is malt from multiple distilleries. It doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, yeah, but what do you call it then? I don't know, but uh, it's a blended single malt, a blended malt. I don't know. Blended malt, not, blended not a pure malt. malt. Yeah. Pure. So, somebody got in trouble for that in Scotland. We 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 did a episode where we talked about. What do you got? Pure and single mixed up? No, they <laughs> they started blending in other stuff, but so they changed it from single malt to pure malt, but didn't tell people what pure malt meant, and they got in a whole bunch of trouble. And I can't remember who that was. Yeah, that it, it was it was like Avalor or what? Uh, I would think it'd be pure single blended. There'd be that. I, I don't think pure is a very good descriptor. No, that's my it's opinion. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I think single malt makes a lot of sense. Blended malt means a lot of sense. And then a blended whiskey means malt and grain. Right. So I get that. Yep. I, pure malt, I don't quite capture. Yeah. So I wonder if it just sat in the barrel a little longer, if they actually started putting a statement on it. You think it'd be better? Probably. <laughs> I'm just guessing, and that's probably maybe a, a, a little bit of a snobby thing, but I just think they, they used used barrels like most right. scotches. So I, I wonder if you know, there might be a little bit more barrel impact. Maybe they don't have to color it. Not that I think color, I color adds color all. flavor. I think, yeah, I mean, true. Keep I don't it. ever think. Keep it in there for care. 10 years. Yeah. They're, I believe they had age dated ones. Okay. Um, I don't know if they do anymore. Uh, in this particular line, Nika's well, no, got a bunch most of them. Probably, they probably don't since they just changed the rule. No, that's a good point. It's, gonna, it's, gonna it's a really some, good point. It's going to take some time. Yeah, if they if they blend it before they put it in the barrel, that's just going to yeah, that's true. That's so, a good point. Maybe that's time. the reason why they re-released it because they knew those rules were coming out. That's possibly, a possibility. Possibly. Yeah. See, now we figured it all out. We're geniuses. <laughs> the brains on Brad over here. It's a really good whiskey. It's solid. I see. Yeah. Top fifth, top twenty, yeah, probably for all the whiskeys, brand new whiskeys that came out last year. I can I see that. Be on that panel, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, so the way I understand it is anything that scores over ninety or ninety four or something like that through the whole year, all they save it all and then they do blind tastings afterwards. So that's that's how they come up with it. So the any first, it's got to cross the threshold of scoring like a ninety something. I think this was like a 93 or a 94. 
and then they go and mm. they rank them. But to rank, I mean, Lagavulin won number one. Uh, the Teeling Black Pits was on there. The, that was a very smoky year, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty impressed about. But Maker's Mark, the FAE 01, mm-hmm. was on the list. Um, yeah, it's been a... That Aaron was yep. on the list. Mm-hmm. That was delicious, not smoky. Very good. So there, there's... Yeah, that, that's got to be really hard to rank when they're so <laughs> different. I mean, these, these whiskeys are very different. But all good. So our first true, ja- true by the new rules, mm-hmm. Japanese whiskey. That's right. Good pick. Good pick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy assuming with this, this is from the Total Wine. No. No. This was from Midtown Cork Dorks. Huh? Yeah. Good score. <laughs> good score. <laughs> Midtown Cork Dorks. I was like, oh yeah. All right. That little Scotch Asian mm-hmm. whiskey section. Yep. yep. Well, we appreciate you joining the very first true Japanese whiskey review. Yes. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, we'd encourage you to hit that like button. And then if we, you know some other ones that meet the requirement, yeah. like we're always looking at, ex- we've got a ton of bourbons and whiskeys. Yeah. Starting to develop a nice sc- scotch. Yeah. We'll do more more of the, the Japanese Asian whiskeys. Yeah, so if you kind of know meets the, Taiwanese. the requirement, drop, a, yeah. drop us a note. We'd, Actual love, we'd love to track it down and sample it on the show. Absolutely. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, we put out episodes like this, reviews every, every uh, twice a week or yep. so. Uh, usually every Tuesday, Thursday, occasionally a little bonus episode here or there. <laughs> and if you have the means, um, love for you to donate to the fundraiser for Make-A-Wish. Uh, again, it's a great charity and uh, may, they do amazing work. Yeah, so We appreciate the support. Absolutely. Well, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.